Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Unity tutorial. This time we are going to do something a little different and right now I have been working on a game, uh, not really working too hard because it's been quite easy, um, for Five Nights at Freddy's um, after playing the third one which I thought was awesome I decided hey let's give it a go and try and make ourselves a little horror game um, pretty much based around Five Nights at Freddy, Fre Freddy, Freddy's. Uh, this is going to be, which is uh, pretty much just, you have your camera, you can't move, and you're looking around a scene, which is scary. So basically I've created this atmosphere, you see some lightning as well, um, yeah, there we go, and all the sound and stuff is working pretty neatly, and I know that you guys can do all of this stuff, so I'm just going to show you some um, some of the scripts that you may not know. And hopefully we learn something along the way. So first of all, I've created uh, the camera. Oh, first of all, I created the map. I'll show you the map a little bit, which is very simple. It's just um, it's got this outdoor environment here and you're in this room. Uh, you're lying down in a bed instead of in an office. And you're going to be playing a child who is, uh, yeah, scared, I guess. <laughs> and giving himself nightmares by overthinking it too much. Um, and I'm also going to add a scream function, which will scare him away, um, just prolonging the inevitable, uh, pretty much. Um, however, uh, yeah, Five Nights has a bit more complex stuff with different camera angles, but I'm just going to focus on kind of the core gameplay and the, and the and how the AI works, or how I believe it works, to be honest. So we're going to start off with the camera. This tutorial is going to go over the camera. Um, and basically, I've created us a little script here, right, called Camera Controller, and it's been put on our camera. Um, and I want to go in there, and we need uh, pretty much four things. We need to get four floats. And the floats are going to basically be um, the minimum uh, for the camera angle and the maximum for the camera angle, which we'll call minimax. And then we want two more, uh, which is basically the speeds. So if we go uh, right speed, uh, right speed, like that. Oh, hang on, it needs to be a float. Um, we can pretty much put that there like that and it's, and then we'll do the exact same thing for the next one, which I'll just copy and paste, maybe a, I'm a bit of a slow typer, left, left speed, right speed, left speed. And now what we want to do is detect when the buttons are pressed. Instead of doing the whole uh, moving mouse thing, uh, you can use the same technique, however, I'm going to be using it with the arrow keys on the keyboard because I wanted a bit more in Five Nights. I didn't want it just point and click. I kind of wanted that you have a bit more control over certain things. So I'm going to start using the arrows or maybe A and D um, as in W, A, S and D. Actually, I'll go with arrows just to make it a bit more simpler for some people. So we want to create a Boolean and we'll call it, how about we just go right first. So we got right S and right the actual direction and we go input dot uh, get key down, oh no, just get key, um, and then we want to get the key code, oh, key code, uh, key code dot left, on oh no, right, no, it's right, yes, right arrow down there, and pretty much close that off, and that's that for that, and we copy and paste the same thing, because it's just changing some values, We'll call that left, and we want the left arrow. All right, now that that's pretty much done, we want to go, if the right button is pressed, then we want to change our transform.y, which in, um, no, not really transform.y, we want to make the camera look left and right. For right, it's going to probably be, um, hang on, let's try and figure out the actual transform first. So we go transform, dot rotation ro oh no actually dot rotate around uh, I think we can use this um, see this is what I like if you put in the bracket it shows you exactly what needs to be in so we go vector 3 point we actually want um, to do we'll use this transform position dot position and we then need the axis and the axis is going to be um, pretty much up and down because it's going to be rotating around a single point um, and that point will be 
uh, your transform position and the axis will be going straight up from the transform position which is basically vector 3 dot up which is a direction um, and then we need the f angle which is going to be uh, it will be our right speed right s huh yeah no it will be right s and then we times that by time dot delta time dot delta time um, and oh, bracket and after that we pretty much copy and paste the same thing see now the problem with programming is that you know you're doing it wrong when you're copy and pasting but this is kind of the only way I can think about it working so maybe it's just my fault maybe I'm just bad at this but yeah it's all good uh, left speed and right speed and pretty much yeah that kind of sums up how it works in actuality so let's see if that actually works first of all we're going to need to change these ca this camera controller um, the values for it since we're not actually working with minimax yet but right speed if we want to turn it right it needs to be a positive speed so we'll go 20 for now um, and left it will be a negative speed and we'll go negative 20 and that should should work yep there we go so you can turn left and right here and it looks pretty smooth I'm actually quite impressed with how smooth it is um, so now we want to move on to the minimum and maximum values and first thing of, uh, I want to say is that we'll actually type in the values that we want so if we come up to, to rotation we can rotate it around and we can see our limits so I want the camera to go around here right which is uh, probably like 150 so in the minimum I want to go 150 because we want to keep it between 150 and whatever's next it starts at 180 and if that's 150 then that means I think this angle is okay for this one so it's 220 eh, 210 I think we'll go 210 for this 210 and if we um, it's minus 30 it becomes 180 which is the center and if we minus 30 again it becomes 150 which is the far left so pretty much that um, is 30 degrees either way if we go save and that's pretty much done we want to I'll reset that to 180 but uh, oh it's actually not programmed in okay so pretty much we want to detect it before it can go right anymore so under right we want to go when the right button is pressed and when the transform dot I think it's local Yulia angles dot y which is the um, up and down uh, the up and downy thing <laughs> Um, so when when we're going right we want it to make sure that the angles is are less than the maximum value pretty much so if we just put that in and then for this bottom one it's pretty much the same again except and done um, except it needs to be as long as the current position is greater than the minimum value so we go greater than min um, and pretty much that works like that and that should all be done I think it should work we'll test it out and see and yep and we get stopped right there we can't go left anymore and we'll check the right and we get stopped right there can't move right and that guy is looking creepier and creepier every time I test this game anyway thank you guys for watching I hope that explains a little bit about the camera and I sure we didn't waste too much time we'll go ahead and save that scene there and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye, -bye.